Hi, it's Jen, uh, one part of Frazzled Wool. We're back with a brand new game. We have got Minimize for you. Um, it's a card game we're about to launch on Kickstarter. Um, we've added to our team this time as well. We have got Ryan. Hi, I'm Ryan, newest team member and one third of the brains behind Minimize. I may be new, the game may be new, but our ethos remains the same. We're just three friends from Chesterfield in England, hoping you'll enjoy the game enough to back it. Hi, I'm Chris and I'm a co-creator of Minimize. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to play and why you should like the project. Minimize is a card game consisting of 78 uniquely numbered and coloured cards, each with their own imagery. Numbers range from 1 to 13. There are also 13 different colours and 13 different shapes. The aim in Minimize is to reduce your score. You do that by reducing the range of numbers in your hand. So let's take a look at what I've got here. I've got a 6, a 1, an 11, a 13, a 5 and another 6. The highest card there is 13 and the lowest card is 1. So I've got a range of 12. The other cards don't matter. However, I've got two 6s which gives me a pro point and I take that off of my range to give me a Minimize score of 11, which is not very good. On my turn I have to draw from one of the three draw piles. Now the 10 looks pretty good because that's close to some of the numbers I've got in my hand already, so I'm going to take that. I then have to discard a card to get back down to 6. I'm going to discard the 1 because that sticks out from my range. Now let's look at what I've got. My highest card is still 13, but my lowest card is 5. So I've got a range of 8 and I've still got the two 6s for a pro point, which gets deducted, giving me a minimized score of 7, which is a lot better. However, I've just discarded a 1, which is one of the action cards. Discarding a 1 at any time means all players have to pass one card at random to the player on their left. So, I fan my cards out, and that player takes a card, and I get a card from the player on my right. I've got an 8, and I've discarded a 5 to the player on my left. So what has that done to my score? Well, I've still got a high card of 13, but my low card is now 6, giving me a range of 7. And I've still got the two 6s for the pro point, which gives me a score of 6. I've got a problem now though, because I've got three magenta cards. Now, if the bonus rule was in place, which says score plus 4 if you have three or more of the same colour, then I'm going to have to add 4 points to my score bumping me back up to a minimum score of 10. Now I really want to get rid of these three magenta cards, but I've got a plan. I don't mind which card I pick up on my next turn, so I'm just going to draw this four, because my plan is to play my six. Six is another action card, which means all players pass all six cards to the player on their left. So goodbye, bad cards. And I get from my right some good cards. I've got a high card of 8, I've got a low card here of 5, so my range is 3. I've got two 5s, so I get a pro point for that, and I've got three 8s, so I get three pro points for that. So that's 4 deducted, giving me a score of minus 1. Now I'm ready to challenge. Everyone starts the game with one of these challenge tokens. If you're ready to challenge at the start of your turn, put the token down in the middle of the table and say, challenge. We go around the table to see who has the best score. If you have the best score, you go through to the next round. But if someone else has the best score, they go through, and I still lose my token. Now I can't challenge, and I'm relying on having the best score when someone else challenges. Unless I can find, and then discard, a 13, which is another action card. And that gives me a token back from the middle, if any are available. The final thing to be aware of is the bonus rule cards. There are 18 of these cards, but only three are used in each round. For example, score plus two points for each red and peach you have in your hand, score plus two points for each cloud and arch shape you have in your hand, and score plus four points if you have three or more of the same colour in your hand. So these are definitely things to be avoided. So each round, the last remaining player is eliminated, and eventually we reach the final round with two players. It's a race to see who dare challenge first and who has the lowest score. That player is the winner. 